Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. Star! My god! Its core is destabilizing. Get the ship out of here, now! Sir, warp engines not responding. Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair, as ordered. Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Star Trek Bridge Commander. My name is Burning Earth Chris and I'm going to be your pilot tonight. <sighs> Star Trek Bridge Commander, I have such a, such a long history with this game. <laughs> um, this was actually the game that inspired me to become a, uh, a visual effects artist, believe it or not. So um, I can explain a little bit more about that at the end of this LP though. So uh, for now, I do want to mention that this game is probably one of if not the best star trek game ever produced um it's a tactical bridge simulator and uh you're essentially put in command of a starship you have your own crew that you get to talk to it's lots and lots of fun and it plays out just like a real star trek episode would so let's go ahead and get into this shall we i'm gonna start off with uh captain difficulty here and my player name's already set so let's go Captain on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. 
Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Biranu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, sir. Condition Green. All hands rig for departure. Chief, please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and the structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. A Federation vessel is only as good as its crew. This point cannot be overstated. It is this interaction with a well-trained crew that allows a starship to operate with a singular purpose. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Yep. Captain Picard is joining us for this first mission, folks. This is really, really cool. Um, I'll go through everything real quick. And uh, by the way, if this game does look dated, it's because it was made in 2000. So, um, or pretty close to that era. So, To select a station, simply center the desired officer Welcome back, view sir. and Those click the left command mouse you. button. Okay. Yes. Uh... To Congratulations, walk, sir. Captain Wright would selected. be very proud of Direct you. Direct the ensign to set a course. All right. Uh, yeah, let's set a course then. Set course then for. Designate the desired destination. In this case, Starbase Twelve. Okay. Course Give Ensign Loma the order to warp. Please remember, Starfleet safety regulations demand that a starship drop out of warp at the outer edge of a system. From that point, you may then continue on to the inner planets of a system at a reduced warp factor. That is really cool, actually. I, I like that they uh, try to integrate Starfleet um, rules and regs into this game. So, uh, there's a couple other Trek alumni in this game, and I won't tell you about some of them yet, but uh, uh, Commander Larson here is played by uh, Martha Hackett, and uh, Miguel Diaz, our science officer, is played by Jonathan Del Arco, who plays Hugh in the next generation, the uh, Borg drone that was uh, recovered by the Enterprise crew. And then we have Chief Engineer Brex. Um, I don't remember who plays him exactly, and I don't remember who plays uh, Felix Savali or Kiska Lomar, but uh, I'll let the end credits roll so that uh, at the end of this LP so you guys can figure that out. Okay. Your orders, sir. Let's go. Aye, Captain. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. 
Shall I bring us in closer to the starbase, sir? We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the starbase nav point. All right, let's do it. Uh, nav points, starbase 12 nav. Yes, sir. And then the ship will go uh, at a pretty high speed uh, towards uh, whatever nav point you have selected there. So that's pretty cool. Now let's see if I remember my controls correctly here. Captain. Okay, never mind. Not that way. Uh, Coming message from Starbase Twelve, sir. I'll figure it out later. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, Commander here at Starbase Twelve. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Please do, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secured to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Sweet deal. Congratulations, Captain. Huh. Your Okay, yeah, that's right. So the F1 through 5 keys, I believe, select your officers. So F1 is your helmsman, F2 is tactical, F3 is your first officer. Congratulations, Commander. Uh, I mean Captain. F4 is your science officer. F5 is your uh, engineer. And then F6 is your, is your guest officer. Uh, let me see. Trying to remember the one thing that made this game memorable for me, uh, but I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Wait. Spacebar, okay. <laughs> spacebar, that literally brings you out to space. Uh, but Spacebar gives you an external view of your ship, so... Um, but yeah, so we also had tactical controls here. Wazda moves the ship around. I got into saying into the habit of saying Wasa thanks to Alchemical Rabbit, by the way. Um, and then you have E and uh, Q to roll the ship, and then using the number keys here, set your ship at a at a set speed. So like here in this little bottom right corner here, you can see I have the ship set to a speed of nine. Captain, the colonies are in need of these supplies. I'll get there. Set, uh, just uh, give me a second here, and now I hit one, so the speed is now set to one. So, all right. Your orders, sir. Let's set a course for Vesuvi. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Get those supplies there in one piece. We have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. This is Director Tobin Soames. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. All right, I'm a bit rusty, so let's do it. When you interface with Mr. Savali at the tactical station in front and to the right of you, you will see the tactical overlay. This tactical overlay will enable you to feed orders directly into Mr. Savali's station. Contacts within range of the Dauntless are listed on the left below the lieutenant's orders. To target any contacts that register here, click the name of the target listed below the lieutenant's orders. Select one of the pieces of debris. Okay. 
Before engaging, we will need to power the weapons. Changing alert levels will automatically bring certain systems on or offline. Red alert, for example, will bring weapons and shield levels to 100%. At condition green, these systems are powered down. Yellow alert will bring the shields online, but leave the weapons powered down. Since we want the weapons online, order red alert. Okay. Red alert, shields up. Now that our up. weapons and shields are online, let's turn our attention to the targeting reticle. It provides all the basic information on the target. The name of the selected target is displayed along the top with its overall health just below. Your distance to the target and its speed are displayed along the bottom. Sweet. All right, along with showing the speed and distance to the current target, the targeting reticle can be used to aim torpedoes. Green markers on the border of the reticle move closer together to represent a better chance to hit. These green markers come together and form arrows on the best aim to the target has been achieved. Remember, torpedoes only track for a few seconds after launch, so although the reticle may show a good shot, it doesn't guarantee a hit. Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be given the order to destroy the target. To order Lieutenant Savali to engage the current target, select the Destroy Subsystems order located at the top of the interface. Yeah, so we got four options here. Destroy, Disable, Stop, or Evade. So I'm going to use Destroy on this thing. Please Engaging turn to your destroy, attention Captain. to the weapons display in the lower right of the tactical interface. The weapons readiness display indicates the charge of the various phaser arcs in the upper and lower saucer arrays and the status of the forward and aft torpedo tubes. Notice that green indicates that a weapon is primed and ready. As a weapon is discharged, its display will change to red. The gray arcs within the phaser display show which firing arc is targeted. Be aware the different colors used in the phaser and torpedo displays. Green indicates the phaser is at full charge. When fully depleted, the indicator will turn black. The phaser cannot be fired again until the phaser bank has gained some of its charge back. Destroyed or disabled phaser banks will appear as gray outlines. The arcs that become highlighted in between the phaser indicators and the ship icon show which phasers are facing the target and can currently be fired. The weapons control panel is just to the left of the weapons display. The weapons control panel allows you to select torpedo spreads and types, as well as phaser intensity. And tractor beams, so we'll get into that later. The weapons control panel allows you to see what weapons are fired. Phaser intensity can be switched between full and low. Full intensity phasers are stronger and have a wider area of effect. Low intensity phasers are weaker but more precise and damage the targeted subsystem. Torpedo count and type are also displayed here. If your ship has multiple torpedo types, selecting type by using the left mouse button will change the torpedo type currently loaded. So we have photon torpedoes, but we'll get more different kinds later on. The Dauntless is only equipped with standard photon torpedoes. It also contains the toggle for engaging the fore and aft tractor beams. Alright, so the toggle for the tractor beam also appears in the weapons control panel. Toggling the tractor beam onto the arm position will cause your ship's tractor beams, located on the forward and aft sections of the ship, to engage the target once in range. Tractor beams have a limited range and will not engage if the target is further than 20 kilometers away. Next are the shield and damage status displays for both the current target and the Dauntless. Along with the current shield level, it displays all damaged, disabled, and destroyed subsystems on the ship. So the green discs around the outside of the ship icon represent the charge level of the shields. As a shield takes damage, its color will change from green to red. Damaged ship systems are shown on the ship icon in the center of the shield display. So green is damaged but functional, gray is disabled, red is destroyed. They cannot be repaired except that Starbase 12. If you wish to take a more direct role in weapons control, select manual fire. All right, when manual fire is engaged from Felix's menu, the mouse cursor will change to a crosshair. This crosshair may be used to manually aim the ship's weapons and fire. If Felix has been given a destroy or disable order, he will continue to maneuver the ship. If you wish the lieutenant to use his own judgment in selecting targets, order him to target at will. Lieutenant Savali will then engage the next enemy target after the current one is destroyed. Target at will will allow Felix to choose his own targets and continue a battle without direct input. This is a useful command if you have other duties to attend to and don't want to micromanage. There is also a direct tactical interface for those situations in which you feel precise control is necessary for the survival of your ship. To know more about this interface, look to your captain's manual. It covers this mode of starship operation in detail. Good to know. All right. So let's uh, finish up with this debris, shall we? 
Moving into attack range. Uh, moving this ship kind of feels like turning a brick. But you can use the left mouse button to fire phasers and the right mouse button to fire torpedoes. There goes one piece of debris. Now let's see what the rest. Now if I hold down the Z key... That'll allow me to zoom into a target that I have selected here, so that's pretty cool. And I can see where it is. Sweet. Okay, gotta swing her around. That's the last of the debris. Sweet. Shall I raise the colony, sir? Please do. Your orders, Captain. Hailing frequencies open. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. Director Soames, get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. Captain? Please do. Initiating scan. Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. Looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get to them quickly enough, there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able to present a good idea of the fragment's relative distance to the colony. Intercept course plotted. I don't remember how to access stellar cartography, unfortunately, but uh, if we press intercept here, we can just go to the fragments. Perhaps Lieutenant Sir, Sir, the fragments are closing the on the planet. Destroy the we might still have time to catch them. Engaging to destroy them. I'll let the combat play out by itself for a little bit here, just to show you guys how it works. I'm probably going to be doing this manually for uh, uh, most of the game, though. So, moving into attack range. To get a higher recharge rate on phases, Chief Rex can boost power to the weapons array. Be careful not to rob power from other essential systems, though. By taking Falling an active an role and allocating power between your shields, weapons, and propulsion system, your vessel's capabilities can be augmented to suit the situation. Moving into attack range. Moving into attack range. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Yeah, this might seem a little slow at first, folks. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh... The combat does get a lot more intense uh, at the later stages of the game, though. Moving into attack range. Might I recommend diverting some power to the impulse engines? It will increase the ship's speed and decrease the time it takes to get from one set of fragments to another. All right, you know what? I'll do that right now. Uh, Brex, weapons and engines, please. Thank you. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Oh, 
I can't imagine the level of fine tuning that these guys had to do to make sure that this that we could do this mission in time before the fragments hit. Sweeping through phaser arcs. I'm gonna try something different here, folks. Uh disengaging. Yes, sir. Stop and let's see. Uh if we can use our tractor beam on this one. Captain, several of the planetary fragments have closed to within 300 kilometers of the planet. Uh, intercept that fragment. Intercept course plotted. Intercept course plotted. Uh, okay, this is starting to worry me a little bit. All right, frack it. Blow it up. There we go, there's our tractor beam. Disengaging. Aye, aye. Crap, okay. Intercept course plotted. There we go. Now, if we could slow it down. I wonder if they expected us to do that, actually, in hindsight, but, uh. At least it's. We did it. I'm reading no other context heading toward the planet. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. There we go. The people of Haven owe you and your crew a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Again, we thank you. If you will put your ship into orbit, we can transfer the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Okay, let's do it. Your orders, Captain. Uh, let's see. Orbit planet, Vesuvi 6. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Sir. The colonists need that station for their terraforming operations. It is not an acceptable target. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize those torpedoes had that much range. My bad. <laughs> Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Lowering shields for transport. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Hmm. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. All righty. Coming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive, and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. All right, let's go. Uh, let's set a course for the Tevron system then. Yes, sir. Leaving orbit. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron 2, Commander. Uh, let's scan the area. Initiating scan. That's the Sovereign, Captain. 
and two birds of prey. Intercept course plotted. Shall I hail the sovereign, sir? Please do. Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. This would have been only a ferrying assignment. He's undoubtedly short-handed. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse Dress me, sir, but we have company. Uh-oh. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Uh, that's a problem. The Derenex class warbirds. Uh, not good. They're hailing us, sir. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torren, commanding the warbird Soyak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on now. Uh-oh. The Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these veiled threats. Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. Firing on the side. We sub. shall play. The sovereign has taken some hits. Incoming transmission. Stop. We're losing shield protection. Down Engaging to disable. I'm shifting more power to the shield. I don't think they'll hold. The Dauntless is yours, Captain. Ah, that cloaked crap. Okay. Uh, if I use, if I hold down shift and move the mouse around, I can I can get a better idea of what's in the area around me, so I can orbit the camera around my ship. There's a sovereign. Where's the Rand crew from the Treyor? Okay, they're over there. Good to know. Ah, crap. Okay. Warbirds birds uncloaking again. They're firing. Captain Draxon on screen. <laughs> We are attacking the Khadimah. Join us. Out. Report, Lieutenant. Looks like the Klingons are doing a good job at distracting the warbirds. While the Romulans are busy with the birds of prey, we can take a moment to plan our attack. Your phaser fire will be more effective if you target specific subsystems on the warbirds. Okay, uh... Sweeping through phaser arms. The Soriac is attacking us. Let's deal with them first. Let's see if we can target their, uh... Yeah, we'll target their disruptor weapons. Sweeping through phaser arcs. No, we'll target the disruptor beam on the front of their ship. Hmm. Since I'm on their starboard side, actually, let's focus our fire on there. Their top shield. Yeah, this is a game that's kind of like three-dimensional chess in a way that you have to really coordinate your attack. Captain, our attack for bring the red shield. Ugh, took a hit. Lining up forward torpedoes are draining the red shield. Let's see if I can take some manual control for a little while.
Reverse, reverse, reverse. Watch your speed. Sir, their aft shield is draining. I don't know if there's a, an option to match the speed of a target in this game. I don't remember, I'm sorry, folks. Am I crashing, am I crashing into them? Oops. All right, Soriak is decloaking and attacking us again, so let's deal with them next. Damaging the cloaking device will put the Romulans at a disadvantage. You know, you're right. Let's do that. We can't get too close to the planet, though, otherwise our ship is going to start to burn up like the Romulan Warbird is right now. So yeah, we got to be careful of planetary bodies as well. None of my torpedoes hit. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sir, they are draining our dorsal shield. No torpedoes yet. Well, none of the front launcher anyway. But at least we're doing pretty well for our first uh, drag out fight with the Romulans. Come on, we gotta try to get above them. And low intensity phaser fire will damage the vessel subsystems. Well, there goes their. Uh... Will weaken the enemy shield. Well, there goes the Soriax cloak. Lieutenant, looks like we've bloodied their noses a bit. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Oh, there they are. I was wondering where they went to. But okay, the Ranku from the tray are just cloaked. They've gone to warp, sir. Where are they? Are they coming back for more or not? You don't get your wish, Ensign. Looks like they've gone. Klingon birds of prey uncloaking. Captain Draxon, sir. On screen. It's past time for us to go on to Biranu Station, Captain. Although, this has been an interesting skirmish. I am also due at Biranu Station, Captain Draxon. With your permission, I will transfer to your ship for the final leg of the journey. We will be honored by your presence, Captain. Make your preparations and transport to us when you are ready. Draxon, out. I'll take my leave of you now, Captain. Good luck. To you as well, Captain. Transporter room reports Captain Picard is ready to beam over to the Rancouf, sir. Lowering shields for transport. Transporting now. Captain Picard has transferred to the Klingon ship. Long range scanners indicate another ship entering this system. It's the Zukov. Incoming message from the Zukov, sir. Captain Verada in command, on screen. An ambassador class. Dauntless, we have been assigned to complete the escort of the Sovereign to Space Dock. We will stand by until she is ready. You may proceed to the Vesuvi system to supply the surviving colonies there. Verata, out. Transmission from Sovereign, sir. On screen. We've been able to make sufficient repairs to allow us to warp, Captain. We're heading on to Starbase 12 with the Zukov. Thanks for your help. Soto out. The Klingons are leaving, sir. I suggest we do the same. We have to complete our run to the Vesuvi system, sir. All right. Fleet regulations require us to drop out of warp at the edge of the Vesuvi system before proceeding to the inner planets. Course laid in. Let's do it. Yes, sir.
If you like this video, consider becoming a patron on our Patreon, donating to us through Ko-fi or Streamlabs, or shopping in our Teespring. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on social media for more exciting updates. Thanks for watching.